So I just came back from Rome and I learned how to make fresh pasta. This is how you do it. First thing you're gonna do is weigh out your flour and dump it into either a large mixing bowl or your clean countertop. I used 300 grams of double zero flour. I then made a well in the center of my flour and cracked three eggs into the well. So you're gonna to wanna to be gentle on this step if you're doing it on your countertop. You're gonna start beating your eggs with a fork and then slowly incorporate the flour. Keep doing this until your egg and flour are completely incorporated. You will have to use your hand to knead your dough and yes, it does get a little messy. Continue to do this and form it into a small ball. If you find that your dough is too dry, you can add a tablespoon of water. Your dough should not be sticky. When your dough is ready, put it in some plastic wrap and set it aside for at least 30 minutes. While your dough is resting, you can prepare any sauce you like. I made tomato sauce. I started by getting a large mixing bowl and dumping a can of whole peeled tomatoes. I then used my hands to crush the tomatoes. Then I got a medium saucepan and added enough olive oil to coat the bottom of the pan. I added a few cloves of garlic and cooked it until it was browned up a bit. Once it's cooked, I took the pot off of the burner and I let it cool off a bit. I then added my hand crushed tomatoes and I put it back on the burner and added some sugar and salt. I covered it and let it simmer on low to medium heat for about an hour. While my sauce was cooking, I got my pasta dough that's been resting, floured my countertop, and cut my dough into thirds. I then flattened the dough with my hand and started passing it through my pasta maker several times until it became pretty thin. After that, I put it through the other side of my pasta maker and started cranking out my fettuccine. I set my fettuccine aside on a floured plate. I also sprinkled some flour on my pasta so that it wouldn't stick. I continued and I did the same thing with my other pieces of dough. Now it's time to cook the pasta. I got a large pot, filled it with water, added salt, and brought it to a boil and added my fresh pasta. Fresh pasta cooks very quickly. My pasta was done in about two to three minutes. I then drained my pasta through a strainer. I put the pasta back in the pot and added my tomato sauce. I mixed it well with some tongs, then plated it and grated some fresh Pecorino Romano cheese. And that's it, buon appetito.